Matrix Re Resurrections, Matrix, Matrix Resurrections trailer. I don't know if anybody's seen the trailer for Matrix, Matrix Resurrection, but uh, yeah, so that came out, and the director Lana Wachowski starring Keanu Reeves. First of all, let me tell you, The Matrix had a big impact on me. The first movie had a big impact on me when I was younger. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I think it had a big impact on the film industry as a whole as well. But so there's no one, no matter what, I'm going to go watch this new one. I'm watching, I'm watching no matter what. No matter what the press releases say, no matter what the critics say, I'm watching. So uh, we got Matrix Resurrections. And the director is Lana Wachowski. Both of the Wachowskis aren't, aren't coming back, which I don't, I don't know, I'm not saying that that's going to hurt the film. I think that it could mean that this is just one person with one vision, so it's going to be more focused and we might get something great from it. I mean, with the cast alone. Like, I mean, shit. All right, we got Keanu Reeves coming back as Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Jada Pickett Smith as Niobe, Lambert. Wilson as the Merovingian, who's one of my favorite <laughs> characters in the Matrix universe. That man, the Merovingian, and that accent and the, his ooh, his mannerisms and his ah, yeah. So that's the homie. Uh, then you got Yaya Abdul Mateen, the second playing Morpheus. I don't know what that's gonna look like, what that's gonna be like, what that's gonna be about, but I'm ready for it. Uh, then you got Jessica, the newcomers, or is uh, Jessica Hen? Well. As far as Yaya, he wasn't he wasn't Morpheus before, of course we know, but I'm saying same character coming back. But Jessica Henwick uh, is coming in, and she you might have seen her in The Force Awakens. Some of y'all might have seen her, in, seen her in Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. Don't shoot me. But I first saw her in Defenders uh, on Netflix when um, Iron Fist and uh, Luke Cage. She was on Luke Cage too. But yeah, I'm, most memorable to me when I saw it was from Iron Fist. And she was on Iron Fist, uh, Netflix series, Marvel's Iron Fist on Net Iron Fist on Netflix. And at the end of that, she ended up becoming an Iron Fist. And like you know, the show was like, canceled after that. And I was like, damn it, that's, I really wanted to see where she was going to take the story as far as being an, being one of the Iron Fists. But uh, yeah, so that got canceled. And she's gonna be in Knives Out too. So look her up, check her out. She is dope at what she does, and I'm glad she's getting more and more work. That's Jessica Henwick. And then Christina Ricci's gonna be in there. What's she doing? I don't know. Neil Patrick Harris gonna be in there. What he doing? I don't care, cause I like Neil Patrick Harris and whatever he does. <laughs> the man is cool, cool. Then you got Daniel Bernhardt. I wasn't really, sh I'm, I'm not, like Daniel Bernhardt, cause he's, he's playing Agent Johnson. And I didn't, I didn't know who Daniel Bernhardt was. And I looked him up. The man was in Bloodsport, way back in the bay back. Matrix Reloaded, so he, he, he already fought Neo. He's in John Wick. He fought other Neo. <laughs> he fought fucking John Wick. He was a Hydra thug and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He was in Logan fighting Wolverine. Atomic Blonde fighting Shirley Steron. Atomic Blonde's my shit. Uh, he was in Arrow fighting Green Arrow. Hobbs and Shaw boxing The Rock and Jason Statham. He was in Birds of Prey boxing up Harley Quinn and him. Harley Quinn and him and him and him. Uh, mostly recently, I saw him in the movie uh, Nobody, which was a... Uh, Made by the same people that made John Wick, and there's a hype move. So this guy, he boxing all these celebrities and all these characters and stuff like that. They put him in here as an agent. He can't let us down. I mean, I don't know. He might be an agent that comes in and like his head blown off in the beginning of the movie or something like that. But with that background, they got to put him in there somewhere, somehow, some way. And I hope it's dope. And it's, I mean, like I said, with this cast, it got to be dope. It got to be dope. It don't got to be. But I'm hoping. It, I'm really hoping it's dope. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it off the strength for the first Matrix, so we'll see what they do with it. A lot of Wachowski, just, just bring your A game, girl. Um, you know, so what the cast look like they can't lose. Uh, looking forward, overall, looking forward to a good story being told very well. That's some dope ass action sequences, and uh, yeah, I got old to the first movie to see this one. So no matter what I'm watching.